Bill Blister, but right now we're very pleased that Bruce Frankel is back with us. Last time he was here, he was talking about beer. Today, though, it's a real New England tradition, and that is hard apple cider. Bruce, good to see you. Good to be back. Thanks. All right. Well, let's talk a little bit about this. Now, you're actually going to be running a workshop that is going to be teaching people how to make hard apple cider. Yes, exactly. At a Deja Brew in Shrewsbury, we're going to be giving a hands-on workshop on how to create hard apple cider, not sweet apple cider, which no, of course everybody wants. No, but now I call it a New England tradition, and this really is. This goes all the way back to our Pilgrim ancestors. Yes, it goes way back. We brought it from England, and it's a, it's a tradition over there as well as in France, uh, all over Europe, where they can grow apples. All right, well, I see a lot of great equipment here, as well as some finished product that I hope we're going to get to. Mm -hmm. So let's get right, uh, right to it. Uh, th is this the way that it'll be kind of be set up at the workshop as well? Yes, the idea is we, take, we start with something like this, yeah. an ordinary apple, and we end up with something like this, <laughs> a okay. bottle of hard cider. How long does the whole process take from, from that apple to, to this? All right, maybe not the growing of the apple, but from when they go to the workshop to when they're actually going to be able to put it in a bottle. All right, good question. Uh, it can take anywhere from one month till about six months, even a year before it's ready to drink. It depends on how much time you have and what kind of cider you one want One year make. harder than if I do it after a month? No, it doesn't no, get harder. It just no. gets better. Better. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so walk us through this process. All right. Well, like I said, we start off with an apple. Yeah and we got to extract the juice from the rest of the apple. And we do that with this uh, simple machinery here. We basically would cut the apple into pieces, put it into this machinery, chain, uh, turn this right, wheel. Now, how hard is it to really crush up those apples? It's not that hard, but you no. do need some assistance with uh, heavy heavy turning instruments and there's a uh, Oh, so a I couldn't just go there. over there and do it myself and crush up these apples. No, I, what, what, what do I have no, to do? No, you could. Yeah, yeah oh, you okay. could. It's just you need a wheel with that, oh, with that oh, dimension. I see what you're okay. it, it'd be hard to yeah. just do a little crunch. Right, right. Um, and you have to cut these up too. You don't have to take the, the skins off or the seeds out or anything, but this is a crusher and the, the, the ending pulp that results will come okay. out through here and into this, which is the apple press. So you're cutting this into fourths or eighths, you're not putting right. in the whole apple? No, be, it, or it'd be okay. too hard to do it. Right. Um, that comes out, it comes into here, and this gets turned very slowly. All right, so we turn, and we just turn that back and forth, or we turn it all no, the way around? It just gets screwed yeah. around and gradually it goes down and presses the pulp of the apples that's in there now and slowly extracts the juice from the So this is like what Jack LaLanne is always telling me to get, right? Yes. I mean, one of these things where he's always got his juicer out. You can use your home juicer to do this could as you well. Really? Yes. You could. Yes, you okay. can. It uh, wouldn't be as cool or as much Right. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be as authentic. Authentic. Right. Which is really what we're after. Um, now, so what I'd like to do is just give you a taste of this apple. Okay. Um, so you get an idea of what the raw product is like. Right. And okay. this is a Macintosh apple. And now... Um, can you get the pail there, Alan, for us? Yeah, good apple. Yeah. Alan helping us out here, and we appreciate it. Thank you. Um, now we'll give you a taste of the juice. Now, you know what an apple tastes like. I just had one. Right. And, we know, what what, and like. we know what sweet cider it's tastes very like, good. too. But the hard cider is a completely different product. And the way you transform sweet cider into hard cider mm -hmm. is by adding yeast and the yeast will then turn the, the sugar in the sweet cider into alcohol and carbon dioxide. So if somebody wanted to, they could go through this, they get a very nice healthy uh, apple, apple cider right here. Right. But now, as you're telling us, we want to turn it into the hard apple cider so we, we get the yeast right. and we go through this process that can take anywhere from a month to a, to a year. Right. I'll, we'll, we'll show you how it's done okay. just briefly. You get a bottle or you can even use uh, a glass jug or even the jug that the cider came in. And we just pour the cider into this bottle and of course you, this is a five gallon bottle. and you. Now you have all these products at Spitjack. I don't, yes, I do. Yeah. I mean so far everything you see here I uh, sell at Spitjack. Right. Uh, there are also some very good uh, uh, stores, um, one in West Boylston and one in Marlboro that sell uh, beer and cider making mm -hmm. equipment. Okay. I mean, is cider making very popular? I mean, certainly the beer making is. It's, is the cider? It's getting, getting more yeah. popular, but it, it went through a period where it's almost forgotten at this point. And there are some home cider makers, but very it's, cool. uh, it's right. kind of a lost art. Now, Come the next thing we do we is, we, is, we put the, um, is we put this little thing called an airlock on top. Okay. And take the cap off there. And what that does is now the yeast 
is turning the sugar into alcohol and carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide has to come off, so we, it'll bubble out through that, what they call an airlock. That keeps the bad air from getting in, lets the carbon dioxide out, and it bubbles up for about two or three months, and then it's ready to pour off, and, and you have your finished product. And then we have this. Right. All right, tell us a little bit about these four bottles that we have here. These are all different. Okay, right. Now, just like um, you can't make good wine from grapes you buy in the supermarket, you can't really make good apple cider from apples you buy in the supermarket or the ones we're used to eating. Oh, really? The best cider is made from specialized uh, antique type apples that are very hard to find okay. and had to be planted especially. About 20 years ago they started planting them again. So Bruce, we have just a minute left, so let's open a couple of these up and let's uh, see what they, what they taste like. Anything okay. that we need to know about, about these? Now I have yes. the Macintosh. You have the Macintosh, that's the Cider made from the, the juice you were just drinking. Right. Very simple cider, low in alcohol, because Macintosh only has so much sugar. Oh, good. This is a more sophisticated version. It's called Ashmead's Kernel. It's from an antique variety of apple grown specially just for cider. Right. And um, People can come and they can make any of these varieties? Yes. Well, it's Fantastic. hard to find these apples. Okay. But uh, if you find the right orchard and do a little hunting, you'll be very successful. And if you don't feel so uh, ambitious. Right. Come, come to the workshop you and I'll show you. you how. Bruce, we'll have people come on out to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by. We'll do it again soon. You're very welcome. Glad to be here. Right here on Wake Up Worcester, Dress for Success, coming up. Up and Adam, everybody, and thank you for joining us right here on Wake Up Worcester. Remember to tell your friends, if they can't join us every morning at 6 and 8 a.m., they can always see us at Charter On Demand. Just go to Channel 1, go to Community Programming, and there we are. Hey, we're so pleased now to find out a little bit more about Dress for Success. They have a 